Hey guys, this is Sumit from Backbench Coder. So let's do some React routing. Okay, so let's see what we have. So we have this nice navbar here. What we are going to do will create three components, which will be about resume and projects. And we will show this in this empty area based on whichever component is selected here. Okay, so let's see this with the diagram. So we have this navbar here, which is about resume and projects. So what we want to do, so if we click on this about, it will send me to the home route. And from the home route, it will render a component which is about and this about will be re rendered here. And for same as resume, if we click on resume, it will send us to resume route and from the resume route, it will render resume component and it will render here. And the same for projects, it will send me to the projects route and the projects route will render a component called projects and that will be rendered here. Okay, so, so this middle diagram here, it is our router. And we want all this process without refreshing the page because that's why this is single page application, right? Okay, so how can I do that? Well, we will use something called link and route. So let's do that. Okay, so what we have right now, we have this navbar. Okay, so implement React Router, we need to install a package which is React Router DOM. So open your terminal or you, if you are using VS Code, you have built in terminal here and if you click Ctrl J, it should, your terminal should pop up. So make sure you are in the right directory which is dev portfolio and if you are not sure, just write dir and if you see a file which is package.json, it means you are in the right directory, okay. So just install react router dom which is in pmi react router dom and it will take some time i will skip this okay react router successfully installed you can check it in package.json in package.json you can see something react router dom okay so let's Okay, so now first step is to navigate to the route. Okay, so to do that, we will import something called link from React Router DOM. So we want this div here to be clicked and navigate to a route. So we will wrap it up inside a component which is link and just wrap it up inside a link. Okay, let's make it more readable, fine. So, okay, so how can we actually navigate to the desired route? So there is a property called to in link and where you can put your route. Okay, just like this. And you can copy this for the other two link. So what we did, we wrapped our nav items inside a component which is link and to change the route will for resume i will send it to resume route and for the projects i will send it to projects route okay that is fine okay so to navigate to our router is done now let's create the route here in app.js i need to create this route so at this point if you see the your terminal you should see a error which is okay if you refresh the page Okay, you should see that you should not use link outside a router, right? So we need to wrap the app inside a component called router, which will provide some other facility of single page application. To import the router, we need to go to react router DOM. Okay, and the router should be imported as browser router as router, cause the original name is browser router and we are renaming it as router. Now we can also take as a browser router, browser router and it will not affect at all. Okay. So what we will do, we will wrap this component inside browser router, sorry router. Okay. So let's see. So now if we click on resume, look at the URL guys. It is sending me to the resume and the projects, it is sending me to the projects. 
so at this point our app is not rendering any you know, corresponding components but we are successfully navigating to a desired route okay so let's make three components first we'll go to components folder i'll create three components which is resume.js that is cool now if we go to app.js we need to create the route and and just render the right component okay so how can i do this we can make this using a component called route r o u t e and guys look at this so if i now press enter it will auto import it from react router dom okay look at this right here it has auto imported now to create the route there is a property called path and you can put the path whatever you want here in this case we want this slash which is home route and in this route i want to render a component which is about and again i will auto import it look at this here if you don't have this extension installed make sure you have imported it okay so in this case i will create two other routes which is in this case is resume and it will render a component which is resume and this one will render projects so projects route make sure there is no typo guys projects and this will render projects okay by the way guys there is another way you can render a component inside you can render a component from route but in this case there are certain limitations uh, let me show you you can only use the self closing tag which is route here okay the path is projects and how i want which is component and component should be the component name which is projects okay so in this path projects i want to render a component which is projects but there are certain limitations which are it has to be a single component in this route like if i want to render two components like projects and then like you know my skills i don't i can't do that. i can only render a single component and if this components has some properties you need to pass you can't do this here in that case you need to use this method okay that is cool now let's go to the browser okay now look at this in this about page well well, well there is a problem in this about page this is showing this is about this is cool but it is also showing this is my project switch but what is right guys i am at projects url it is showing projects but why this is showing this is about okay let me okay let me check the other routes in resume it is showing resume but it is also showing this is about which is our home component and if i go to about which is our home component this is showing this is about let's see what is the problem so in react what route does route checks for partial matching okay so what i mean by partial matching in you can see this slash here so this slash right here is matches with the resume router and that's why it's also rendering a resume route and this slash here it's also partially matches with this projects okay that's why it's also rendering in the projects out so how can we solve this we can solve this using a property called exact so what exact does exact force this force react to disable the partial matching so it will render only when the path exactly matches with this home route so let's see now okay look at this this is about page and if i go to resume this is resume and this projects this is projects but now there is a bug in our code so let me show you what it is so in the home component so in the home route it is showing about component this is absolutely good and then resume this is resume fine and this project this is showing projects component that is fine but now if i go to you know from the url if i go to resume what it will do look at this 
we have the resume url it is showing resume component that is cool but but in the active element this is showing about which is not expected it should be showing you know resume and now if i go to projects and if i now refresh it it will show about but it should be showing projects so let's see why this is happening so for this we will go to navbar and okay so let's go to navbar.js so what's happening here we have this initial value which is about right so what it does whenever this component will render first time it will show this about so when i am refreshing the page in the let's say in resume i'm refreshing the page it is rendering first time and this is showing about right so we don't want this so first of all we remove this okay so now if we go here look at this i'm a resume page this is showing nothing if i click about this is now working fine this is resume this is projects but if you now refresh it there is a strange behavior because there is and obviously we have no initial value and now if and when i am clicking about what it is doing right here if you remember when i am clicking about changing the active variable to about it is re-rendering and dynamically changing this active value and conditionally re-rendering these two items okay so what can i do we can solve this problem in several way but let me show you something which is by taking the advantage of this url right so if this resume look at this this resume right here starts with resume and this projects this url i mean this url is from this slash to all so this starts with slash projects and resume starts with slash resume and this about route starts with a slash which is this slash it is it does not show but it is slash okay so let's do this so now we want this functionality this checking this url checking when the app renders first time so now this is the best time to introduce use effect hook so let me tell you what is use effect so let me first write the use effect and again this will import it from react automatically and okay what react so what use effect does it fires this function right here this arrow function based on this dependency array this little array here it is called dependency array if this array is empty means this use effect will be you know fired only one time and that is when the component first loads but in this case what we want we want whenever this active changes through this on click function we want this function to fire so let's put active in dependency array okay so whenever this active changes this will this use effect will fire this little function here so in this inside this function i will i will write some code that will check the url okay so first of all i need to get the url which is let current url we can get this using window dot location dot hr href and then let me first log it out current url and now what now check if the current url dot ends with has means we are in the home route which should set active about then else if if my current url dot ends with something called slash projects should set the active as projects and for else if the current url dot ends with slash what we have uh, we did about projects and this resume here and this will set the active state as resume that is cool and i am not doing else here because the user can you know, type some invalid url and that will eventually break our application let's see what we have 
okay look at this i'm at resume url and this active state is resume and if i now refresh it this is still resume that is cool and now about this is about if in my projects if i now refresh it it should still show projects that is cool that is fine and now with this we have introduced a new bug and let me show you i mean coding is nothing but solving bugs and bugs and bugs right so now if user type something called some invalid url and what it does there is no active state and our application is behaving strange right so and this is not a good ux we should show something called 404 page or you know anyway we can redirect it to a you know, valid route so let's do that so what we'll go to the app route so what we'll be doing will catch all the invalid route here we can do this using a dummy route right and what we will do in case it is not a valid route we will redirect it and to redirect it to a home page there is another component in react router which is redirect and this will import from react router dom okay but redirect to what so we can set a property which is to to home page okay so you can see this uh, redirect is imported so now let's see what we have okay this is about and if i say something strange look at this this is re redirecting me to about and here's a twist guys with this we are introducing a new bug which is if i go to projects and now if i refresh it it will re redirect me to a home page so before we solve this let's see why this is happening so as i told you react uh, router what it does it does some partial checking in routing so when i go to projects router and refresh it what it does it is checking all the routes and this does not match this resume does not match that is fine project does match it renders the component projects and but it does not break here it's still checking and it goes to route and this route matches with all the urls so that's why now it is redirecting to the home page so this is the best time to introduce a component which is called switch so what switch does switch component will check for the matching router from the top and if it gets the match it will break it will break the checking so exactly what we need right now so in this under this nav bar what we need we need the switch component is the ytch and this is matching from react router dom and this is quite similar to the switch switch you know the father of if else okay look at this now what it does it is checking it's checking 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 for projects and it gets projects it breaks from the checking and if i refresh yay if i go to about this is about and if i go to resume and it is resume refreshing and if i see something invalid which is yeah hooray we did it so i think this is the right way to introduce our components to you what is the problem right now we have that will be solved by this component and that is some question you need to ask and then introduce a new component and that's all for this video i'll be designing this about component resume component projects component in the next videos mm, yeah that's all and again if you like this video please give it a like please